Give you a lift to the bus stop. No, there's no need to bother yourself. What's well, no bother? And apart from anything else, I've had that chance to say hello. I was asleep when you came in last night. I was only at my mum's, and we're not allowed to see my family now. Well, I just thought you'd appreciate a lift, that's all. For God's sake, if she wants to walk, let her walk. No, it's all right. Come on then. What was all that about? Nothing that we should be getting involved with. Oh, come on, you can't leave it at that. Really, if I was you, I'd stay out of it. Andy, you've got me worried now. Robert might have got Don into a bit of trouble. What sort of...? Oh. That's why they wanted to keep it quiet. Hey. He's doing much better. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Well, I wouldn't lie to you. He's making real progress. Thank you. Well, he's the one doing all the work. Sister tells me that you have a visitor. Would you like me to send her in? Her? Yeah, please. Alright. How is the little man? Oh, he's a lot better, Lisa. They're oh. really pleased with him. I'm grateful you keep coming to see me. I hope I'm not making a fool of myself, Charity. No, you're not. Because if I thought I was being taken in by someone who's no more than a conniving hussy, I would never hear the end of it. Do you understand me? Yes. So. How's Debbie? Oh, she's really missing you. Mm. Still, you look cheerier. <laughs> Zoe came to see Noah, apparently. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. In fact, Lise, you, um, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? It's the last time I'm not flaming pregnant! Did you hear that? I think half the village heard it. Discretion was never Donna Windsor's strong point. Then can you explain why you're in this mood? Because you keep asking me stupid questions, Robert. Boys, slow down! Emmerdale welcomes careful drivers. Apparently he doesn't know the meaning of the word careful. What do you mean by that? Nothing. It's um, just your Donna sounded a bit upset, that's all. Wouldn't be a hormones, would it? What? It's all right, sweetheart, I'm coming. Hey, do you suppose she is? What? In the pudding club? Oh, I wouldn't put anything past her. Nothing surprises me in this village anymore. No, all of life is here. And I bet we don't even know the half of it. I dread to think what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah, well, everyone has secrets, you know. Not everyone. And some have secrets they don't even know about. Do you know I can't be doing with you when you're talking riddles? Good day to you. What do you mean you haven't told him yet? Mum, I just couldn't. Oh, come on. Inside before everybody knows about it. <sighs> Police at the hospital visit my mum, and I am certainly not going to eat what Shadow Rat's cooking. <laughs> That's probably a good decision. Mm. Right, I'm here now. Yeah, good. I'll be fine with these now that I can finally pay for them. And how's your new little brother? I think that's the right money. What can I do for you? Absolutely nothing. Morning. I wonder if you kept this lot ready for us to pick up this afternoon, please. Milk, bread, loo rolls. I suppose you're having to get in more supplies now, Chloe, staying at your place. Well, we can't let her starve. No, you don't want to worry about her. She never goes short of anything. Oh, is that right? You can take my word for it. She'd be nicking more than your custard creams before long, and after she's been in your biscuit tin, she'll be in your bed. What makes you think she isn't already? What do you mean by that? Well, many hands make light work. <laughs> Stop scaring the nice lady, Siobhan. Come on. See ya. At this rate, the village will need its own STD clinic. Mum! Oh, I didn't mean it. Come on, upstairs. I'm back. Yep, I can see that. So, if you wanted to go anywhere, I could hold the fort. Where would I be going? I thought you might want to go to the hospital after yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, that was yesterday, and today I'm busy. You do know that no one is... I have no a... intention of letting her know that I have any interest. But you are allowed to have an interest, you know. He's your nephew. That remains to be seen.
Robert knows there's something wrong. I'm gonna have to tell him. I'm gonna be so ashamed. Why? He gave it to you. Well, I don't know that. Well, I do. He's the dirty beast who should be named and shamed. Oh, I couldn't bear it. Everybody knowing that I was infected. Well, thanks to your little outburst this morning, everybody thinks you're about to become a gym slip mother. I'm sorry. You know, I really thought you might have learned a lesson from your brother's little accident. There are ways of protecting yourself these days. I know. Do you? I had the birds and the bees chat with all my children, but it doesn't seem as though any of them listen to me. I don't know what's worse, Scott fathering a baby with the local lesbian or your social disease. Mum. Well, at least your little problem can be cleared up with a course of antibiotics. Oh, do you know, I can't stop thinking about it, and every time I do, I laugh myself silly. <laughs> Well, it's not that funny. Oh, yes, it is. Go on, try it. Say after me. Hitler's nan was a tart. <laughs> Keep your voice down. <laughs> Little pigs have big ears. I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> well, you'll have to, because you promised to keep the lid on it. Oh, I will take it to my grave. Although I might be in it a bit sooner than I expected. I can see why you feel torn. Well, it's always been complicated. Yeah, but it's more complicated than you'd think. Look, why don't we meet for a drink and a chat later? Yeah? And Zoe, try not to worry. OK, bye. More problems? More like concerns. Well, she's very lucky you're able to spend so much time on her. Well, at this moment, you have my undivided attention. Is something worrying you? Debbie Dingle. Really? She's been totally overlooked in all this mess. She can't even rely on her own family for support. I'm sure that's not true. I know the Dingles are somewhat unconventional, but they take great pride in looking out for their own. Yeah, well, Debbie's been overlooked. Not by you. No. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should be the one to take some action. Yeah. I think so. Make way for action, Vicar. It's my toast, Dad. Yeah? Okay. Ta. I'm a visitor. No, not that, thank you. I'm not in the mood. I'm not either. I brought you these. Could you give us a minute, please? Yes, sure. Ma. Ma. You got him well trained. Thank you for delivering those. There is a message. Go ahead. Charity wanted you to at least see a photo of little Noah. Mission accomplished. Well, if I don't help her, no-one else will. Especially now they know who Noah's father really is. Well, Charity's got no-one else but herself to blame for that. Oh, you won't have any argument with me about that. <sighs> Listen, I just want this over and done with so that my family can get back on an even keel. All this has ripped them apart. <coughs> right. Well, I've done what Charity asked. You can do what you want with the photos. What are you doing here? Oh, hello to you. Well, I'm busy, so if you come to have a go at me, can you save it until tonight? Actually, I've come to see if you're all right. Andy told me about Donna being... Well, I didn't think you'd be bothered. Of course I am. I was worried for you both. We can stop worrying. Donna says she isn't after all. Well, that's good. If it's true. What? Well, it's just the way she's been moping about. And it's not as if she's been any cheery this morning, is it? You'd have thought she'd have been relieved. Well, what am I supposed to do? She said it's a false alarm. Have you tried talking to her? Sort of. She's been a bit awkward. Yeah, you don't say. You two could barely look at each other in the eye this morning. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Do we make you feel uncomfortable? Well, so what would you do if she is pregnant? I don't know. Well, will you stand by her? I suppose so. You suppose so? Oh, that's big of you, Robert. I'm glad we never had to discuss it. Me too. 
Listen, I think you need to have a talk with her. Just make sure she's OK. Yeah, well, I was going to anyway. I'm quite capable of sorting things out with my girlfriend without your help, thanks. OK, well, good luck. Wasn't one of Charity's subtlest moves. So many pictures of the baby thinking that I have some sort of emotional, hormonal, knee-jerk reaction. Seem rather emotional to me. Yeah, I'm certainly angry, but not the wave of sympathy and love that she was hoping for. A couple of Polaroids isn't going to change how I feel about her or the baby. Oh. Hello, there she is. Auntie Zoe. Zach, please. Are you getting around in? Huh? Wet the baby's head? Don't you think you're getting a bit ahead of yourself? Huh? What are you on about? You really think I'm going to take your word for it? Well, it's not my word. DNA never lies. No, but your family do. Oh, you've got room to chalk. You lot couldn't lie straight in bed. Well, we will find out because I'm ordering another test and we'll see if celebrations are in order then. Well, you can do what you like. But that kid is a dirty tit and I pity him. Yes, and it's still half a dingle for that. I really pity it. I think that's enough from both of you. Fine. And I'm sorry, Ashley, but I really don't think I want to drink anymore. Perhaps we could go somewhere else no. to talk. I really don't want to do anything. Hello, my darling. How's your morning been? Terrible. I've had Donna crying on my shoulder all morning. Ah, uh, so Robert didn't take the news well then? No, oh, she hasn't even told him yet. Joking. Does any of this sound like a laughing matter? No, my love. Well, get me a double rum and coke. I'll have a word with Al. You have just missed a right ding-dong with Zoe and Zack. Oh, don't worry, there'll be another one along in a minute. Never a dull warmer round here, is there? Which is kind of what I want to talk to you about. Have you noticed anything unconventional about Paul and Siobhan's relationship? Well, apart from the fact that she can drink him under the table. Not really. Why? Well, I was offering them some friendly advice this morning about Chloe. What sort of advice? Well, warning them that she's a tart and no man's safe under the same roof as her. Is that true? Well, of course it is. The thing is, they seem to get rather stimulated by the idea. Stimulated? How? Well, they seem to uh, suggest that they weren't averse to ringing the changes in the bedroom. Do you think they were making an indecent proposal to you and Bob? What? Maybe they were suggesting a bit of wife swapping. I think you've got the wrong end of the stick here. <sighs> Me and my Bob are not into perversions. Well, one girl's perversion's another girl's idea of a good night. Not this girl. Who are you picking a fight with now, my love? The Marstons. Val seems to think they've taken a shine to us. Oh, that's nice. No, it is not. They're not talking friendly cheese and wine evening. They're talking, you know, car keys in a bowl. Don't be daft. You putting ideas in the head, Lake? I just deal them as I see them, Bob. Anyway, I wouldn't kick Paul and Marston out of bed. Oh, some of us have got very low standards. I know the Marstons have set their sights a little bit too high this time. Thank you. Can I get you anything else? Yeah, I was wondering whether I could talk to you about Debbie. What's wrong? Well, she seems to spend all her time alone. Nobody seems to take any responsibility for her. Well, I think Lisa and Zach are doing the best. It can't be easy. Yeah, I appreciate that, but I really think somebody needs to keep an eye on her. You may be right. But believe me, kids left to their own devices, they get into trouble. Debbie's a good and sensible girl. And the Dingles look after their own, I promise you. I hope you're right. I suppose a trip into town's out of the question. Do I even have to answer that? No. Well, you definitely can't go out now. Why? You've got a visitor.
to see Noah. Stop it, Charity. What? All this. The photographs Lisa's lecture, all designed to prick my conscience. Not at all. Well, it's not working. I'm not interested in your little schemes. <gasps> you came all this way to tell me that, did you? Yes, because I want to make it clear. Well, job done. I don't want to see you, nephew or not. Haven't you listened to a word I've been saying? Fine, it's just we're going to go and see him anyway. I want to spend as much time with him as I can before he goes. This might be your last chance, Zoe. Nancy, can we go? Sure. Where is he? Follow me. Wanted a chat. All right, well, why don't you tell me what you've been up to today? Fix any good cars? Donna. Sit down. Now, are you going to tell me what happened at the doctor's? I've said. Are you sure you're not pregnant? <sighs> I've told you no. Why would I lie? All I know is that you've not looked me in the eye for two days. That alone come anywhere near me in bed. Now you've got me worried. Really? Yeah. Now you're going to tell me what the problem is. Look, I'm not pregnant. I promise. Hey, these are going down well. Yep. I'm not surprised, you little monkeys. You are? You must be exhausted. It's worked herself up into a right lather. Got you two tears while you swap us. <gasps> True. She's convinced you're after her and Bob's bodies. Oh, silly moo, me and poor Ollie winding her up. You were? Yeah, well, I never thought she'd take it seriously, did I? Oh, great. It'll be half around the village by now. Oh, that's all right. She reckons you're out of the hopes league anyway. Paul doesn't do a thing for her. Oh, thank heavens for that. Mm, is that what she said? Siobhan, leave it. I don't think so. Wait till I see her. I went to the doctors for what they call a well woman checkup. It's just a routine thing that girls have to do. Just routine? Yeah, just to check that everything's healthy. You know, down there. Right. But it's not. No. Are you will? Not exactly. The doctor offered to test me for chlamydia, and it was positive. Are you going to be all right? Do you know what chlamydia is? It's a woman's disease. It's an STI, a sexually transmitted infection. What? So you've given me a dose? Not necessarily. You might have given it to me. <laughs> well, I don't think so. Whatever, look, you've just got to start thinking. We've both got to do a list of all our sexual partners. What for? So that we can let them know that we might have infected them. I can't believe how tiny he is. Didn't feel it when I was pregnant. And then I don't need to tell you that. Not something you forget in hurry. Skin, it's like paper. I know he looks so fragile. But he's shown us how tough he can be. Just like his dad. I gotta go. I wonder what you think about all this. Chris was always going on about the importance of family. And that makes me wonder how he could have left you with all this mess to sort out. He hasn't. He hasn't thought of everything, though, has he? I wonder if he'd have done things differently. If he'd have known I was expecting his kid. If he'd have known that what he did would mean his son would be brought up by strangers. What do you think, Zoe? How do you think he'd have felt? What do you want now? Do you talk to everybody like that? Only the ones that can't take a hint. How would you spend your day? Same as usual, watching telly and that. Well, how would you like to do something different? Depends what it is. Well, Mr Skelton has asked me to do some grave rubbings for the Historical Society. Now, I could do with some help. I don't think so. What, you'd rather be bored? No, I'd rather not be your skivvy. Mr Skelton asked you to do it, not me. Well, sure, I know that. And but... apart from anything else, 
I'm not going to spend my day with a load of old gimmers. Right, and that includes me. Well, you're not an old gimmer, but you are a vicar. Which amounts to the same thing. Yes, I suppose it does. Look, you're going to have to find someone else to hang around with in the cemetery. OK, well, if you change your mind... I won't. Lay <laughs> up. Here comes the Duchess. You're starting early. Well, I've been waiting with bated breath. I want to hear all about your famous grandma. Well, I don't. Me neither. Well, it's fascinating. All these years we were rubbing shoulders with the well-to-do, and we never knew it. Jealousy is most unbecoming in a lady. Not that you'd know that. Neither did your grandma, apparently. I'm sorry, I missed that. Denunciate, please. I said... Pa, just give it a rest. Some women never know when to stop. Ain't that the truth? You just think about it, Zoe. If I have him adopted, you'll never see him again. You won't know where he is. I'm leaving. Is that what Chris would have wanted? Or would Chris have wanted his son at home farm? Maybe running it one day alongside Joseph? There was never any doubt that Joseph was Chris's son. Yeah, but Chris didn't even know I was pregnant. He never factored that into his plan. Listen! You have seen Noah. You know in your heart that he's Chris's. I know what you want. No, and I know what you want. All the Tate children together? I know you want to be a part of Noah's life. To be a family. Well, that ain't gonna happen while I'm inside. It is out of my hands. I am not the one with the power to change things, am I? No. So then what's it gonna be, Zoe? Because either you do something fast, or there is gonna be somebody missing from your family. Forever. There already is. My brother. Yeah, and I have just given you a way to fill the gap that he left behind. Think about it. You can see Noah whenever you like. So come on, what's it gonna be? That's enough. Zoe, time's running out.